Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. This video is going to be all about head gaskets. A while ago I made a video about blown head gaskets and it has millions of views and I've answered tens of thousands of questions and comments about blown head gaskets. Now in that video and many of my videos you've heard me say probably a hundred times always follow the manufacturer's recommendations. The best way for me to answer the most common questions and make sure I am giving you the actual manufacturer's recommendations was to talk to them myself. I've teamed up with Felpro Gaskets to bring you the most accurate information and current products available for the do-it-yourselfer for the person who wants to fix their car themselves. I had some real great conversations with the engineers at Felpro and this will be the definitive video on what and what not to do when installing a head gasket and the features of each different type. Felpro engineers analyze the needs and requirements of each repair and develop gaskets specifically to meet those needs and requirements. The engineering team designs, reviews, and validates gaskets through rigorous research and development. Their application-specific sealing innovations ensure the right technology, material, and design to ensure a superior seal for your repair. At the Felpro Test Garage, gaskets are tested and validated under real-world driving conditions to ensure optimal performance on the road. They also sent me some awesome stuff to give away, so stick around and at the end of this video I'll tell you how to get some. Before we get started, here are a few facts about Felpro I found out that I thought were really fascinating. First of all, the company is over 100 years old. They started making felt gaskets in 1918 for the Ford Model T in a small garage outside of Chicago, Illinois. And ever since then, they started to grow. They started making oil seals, leather gaskets, leather seals, and stamped metallic gaskets. And as the industry expanded, so did their product offering. They also pioneered the cork and composite and fiber or paper gasket technologies. They really were the pioneers for making gaskets for the repair professionals of the day and for people wanting to try to do the repair themselves. With all of that experience and advances in technology over the years, it's easy to understand why they are the most trusted name in aftermarket gasket manufacturing. As a matter of fact, 82% of all technicians use Felpro gaskets, including me. When I was 16, I rebuilt my first engine, a 289 and my 66 Mustang. I knew nothing about engines, but I do remember buying the Felpro engine rebuild gasket set and it had everything I needed to do the job. After rebuilding that engine and many, many more since then, I've learned a great deal about engines and sealing surfaces and it's easy to see why Felpro is the industry leader in gaskets and sealing solutions for the aftermarket industry. As a matter of fact, their gaskets are designed and engineered for the repair environment specifically for sealing imperfect surfaces. Their current facility is in Skokie, Illinois. It's a 1 million square foot facility where they do all of the manufacturing, engineering, R&D, field testing, kitting, shipping, and technical services, everything under one roof. And this is the most amazing thing I found out. Felpro manufactures over 325,000 gaskets a day. So yeah, they're the experts in gaskets and sealing technology. That's why I went to them for the most accurate information to share with you. So let's get right into the most common questions I get about head gaskets and the answers I got right from the engineers at Felpro. The most common question is, do you apply anything to the surface of the head gasket? The answer is no. Never put anything on the gasket or on the mating metal surfaces. Use the gasket right out of the package. Just make sure the gasket is contaminant free and both mating metal surfaces are clean and contaminant free. Since it is designed to make up for small imperfections, there is absolutely no need to put anything on the gasket or the metal surfaces. The next most common question, does orientation matter? The answer to this question is maybe. Many head gaskets look symmetrical, means that if I put it on the engine this way, or if I flip it this way, it fits the same. It doesn't appear to be different. When you look at the gasket, you want to take a look and see if there's something that might say front. That means it faces the front of the engine. There could be a tab that says this side up, or there could be a marking or somewhere that says left or right. So you have to follow in that instance. For this particular gasket, it's the same this way as this way. So it really doesn't matter which way it goes up technically from the engineers at Felpro. The next question is what if the holes in the gasket are different sizes than the holes in the block or the head? 
If the holes are different in the gasket than the block of the head, the answer is do nothing. These holes, for example, these holes in the middle here, they might be designed smaller than the holes in the block or the holes in the head. Those holes are designed to be a specific size to restrict fluid flow. It could be oil or it could be coolant. So never modify a gasket. Use it exactly as you took it out of the package and don't do anything to modify it. The next question is, do you need to have the block or the head machined for the gasket to seal? The answer here again is maybe. Look at the flatness and roughness or surface finish specifications for the parts. If the, if the part is within the OEM, original manufacturer's recommendation for flatness and for surface finish, there's absolutely no need to machine the parts. Don't do anything, use them as they are. Remember, the gaskets are designed to make up for minor imperfections. Next question, can a head gasket be reused? The answer to this question is no. Always replace the head gasket when rebuilding an engine. Now, if you're rebuilding an engine, you put your head gasket on and then you put the head on and torque it down to specification and for some reason you have to disassemble it and take the head back off, replace the gasket because it's not worth it. Many head gaskets have silicone beads around certain parts of the gasket or the, the stamped steel will have an embossed feature on there to increase loading and a seal around a certain area. And if you clamp it down and you torque down the head, you're going to compromise the silicone or the embossed area. And if you reuse it, there's a good chance it may not seal right. So if you take the head off, replace the head gasket, always replace the head gasket. Next, should I change the head bolts when I change the head gasket? Again, the answer to this question is maybe. If you have a torque to yield fastener, that is a fastener that has a specification that has torque plus angle, you have to replace that fastener because when you apply angle to a fastener, you are stretching that bolt and permanently deforming that bolt so it has to be replaced. If your head bolt has just a torque spec, you can take that out and use that over and over. Next question, how can I improve the loading or evenly tighten the head? If you have a higher compression engine or an engine with a turbo or a supercharger, you can spread the load evenly across the head after torquing if you switch from bolts to studs. A bolt is gonna put a rotational force on the fastener and it could cause a little unevenness in the clamp load of the head. So if you switch to studs, the studs will clamp down more evenly and increase the chance of the gasket sealing better, especially during heating and cooling of the engine. So switch from bolts to studs and you'll have a better chance of getting an even clamp load and better performance out of your gasket. Finally, do I need an MLS gasket if I'm putting on a turbo? There is really not a standard answer to that question. Felpro does not make any standard gaskets or recommendations if you're adding a turbo to an engine. It is a non-standard application. The best thing for you to do is contact the turbo manufacturer and ask them what they recommend for the application that you're using. They're going to have a better idea of the loads their turbos are going to place on it depending on the boost and they can give you a better idea of what to expect from the turbo and what head gasket might be best used in that application. Felpro or other aftermarket manufacturers gaskets are really not going to make a recommendation for non-standard applications. Now Felpro focuses engine and leak repair in seven major categories. Engine repair, leak repair, fuel system, cooling system, drivetrain, and exhaust system. I asked Felpro to send me samples of the most common types of head gaskets used in engine repair and they sent me five different gaskets so I can show you the design features of each one. The first gasket is the Permatorque Blue Stripe Gasket. This is the most common and it's probably the industry standard for no retorque gasket. That means once you put it on and torque the head down, you don't have to go back and retorque it later. This particular one is for most GM V8 engines from the 265 cubic inch to the 350 cubic inch, which is the same gasket for uh, 1967 to 2001. Two of these are required, one for the left, one for the right and uh, they seal minor surface irregularities. This gasket is symmetrical. It doesn't have any stamping to indicate this side up. This is a felt graphite gasket, which means it's a graphite material on a metal core, and it's used right out of the package, and it seals immediately. The next gasket is the Permatorque SD, 
which stands for severe duty, which looks quite different. You see it looks quite different from the blue stripe. And it looks quite different for a very specific reason. These are engineered for extra strength under punishing conditions, these gaskets, and have a proprietary coating uh, on there, and it's a uh, coating for enhanced sealing performance here. Uh, this particular gasket is a, a, is a Chrysler, I believe, a VA 270, 273 to 360 cubic inch from like 64 to 89, and a De Dodge Plymouth VA 273 to C uh, 360 cubic inch from 64 to 92. Now, it is symmetrical with identical coatings on both sides, so it looks very, very similar. You can see the blue silicone on both sides. Very, very similar. Felpro on one side, Felpro in the same spot there, so you can see that. Uh, so either side can go up. The black gasket material is sticky to seal immediately, right? That, that's, that's what that's for. The blue silicone that goes around the outside, the blue silicone there, is, is, is increases the loading in these areas to assist with fluid sealing. You can see around the coolant jacket there uh, and around coolant. So that's what it does. It assists with fluid sealing. Next we get into the MLS or multi-layered steel gaskets also known as Permatorque MLS gaskets. Uh, these types of gaskets can account for more severe conditions and more surface variation uh, like if you're using an aluminum head on a cast iron block or less than perfect finishes up to ADRA you'd want to use an MLS gasket. MLS just stands for multi-layer steel. You can see this one has three layers. While MLS gaskets are great between dissimilar metals, this kind of technology is actually very sensitive to surface conditions, specifically roughness and flatness. So make sure you know the specifications for the part and they meet the specification for flatness and roughness when you're using an MLS gasket. The color of this gasket is more of a branding than function. The color doesn't have a particular function. It's simply two rubber coated uh, metal gaskets with an uncoated center gasket. You can see that there, right there. This particular gasket is for a Dodge and Jeep 3, uh, V6, 3.7 liter single overhead cam engine, 2002 to 2004. Uh, you can see the stamped, let's see if I can get this for you, the stamped embossed feature right here around the, the ring around the cylinder. This feature provides sealing strength for more severe condition feature. So once this gasket is installed, the embo embossed area will get crushed to create the seal. Do not use this gasket after it's been fully retorqued. Uh, there, uh, if you retorque this to specification, that boss on there, the embossment, that'll get flattened and, and you can't get that back. So once you take this off, it'll never seal again. Uh, there, no, there are no orientation markings. Since two of these are required, when you put them on, the one on one side, the logo will be up on one side. When you put it on the other side, the logo will be down. Now this gasket is also an MLS gasket, but this one has laser weld technology. I can hold this open and maybe you might be able to see the precise layer right at the fire ring inside here, which is kind of tough to see. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, which is a, a tough thing to see. But that laser weld is a sophisticated head gasket stopper layer technology that provides precisely determined limit to the compression of the multiple layers within the Permatorque MLS gasket while ensuring the proper sealing stress between the cylinder head and the block. This reduces gasket damage from blowout and it helps ensure a stronger combustion seal. It has a full face rubber coating. It's a proprietary base rubber. Now while this is also symmetrical, here, this one is here, you can see it's stamped front. So when you install this one, you'd put this towards the front of the engine. There's really only one way this can go in. Two of these are required. And uh, this particular gasket is for a 2002 to 2009 GMC 4.8 liter, 5.3 liter, and 5.7 liter engine. Finally, we have uh, the next generation coating MLS gasket. You can see this gasket has a limited amount of coating on here. Okay, it's not all over the entire gasket on both sides. The sealant is applied more precisely to withstand higher engine temperatures. It has a half embossed bead and a full embossed bead around the combustion chamber. So around the combustion chamber here, there's a full, fully embossed bead right there for sealing, right there. Now that around the combustion chamber is there to eliminate leak paths. Uh, you can see this also has the laser weld technology to prevent blowout between the between the two or the three layers. This one might be easier because it's a little more flexible. But you can see, there it is. 
If you look inside here, you can see the laser weld technology in there. Pretty interesting there. Now that prevents blowout to ensure a, com a stronger combustion seal. That's why they do that. The multiple layers of stainless steel maintain sealing stresses to accommodate for head lift. It does look symmetrical because it's uh, the same color. But if you look very closely on the bottom here, let's see here, right here on the bottom, there's a laser stamping on here and it's marked L for left. Two of these are required for a Chrysler V8 2009 5.7 liter engine. So that is just a sample of the kind of head gaskets and the variety of head gaskets that Felpro makes. It really is amazing how many different gasket and sealing products they make. Intake manifold, oil pan, rear main seals, timing cover, water pumps, valve covers, timing chain tensioners. The list is quite impressive. They really do make it easy for you to do your repair. The gaskets are engineered to seal in specific applications and to seal imperfect surfaces. Everything you need to do repair is in the kit. So if you're doing a water pump or you're doing a specific seal that you're changing, all of the gaskets you need to change that particular gasket will be included with the kit. I'd like to thank all my new friends at Felpro, the engineers who spent time on the phone with me to answer all my questions. That way I could get information directly from the manufacturer so I can share it with you so you know that it's right. They really do a great job at making gaskets and they have great technical support. So if you need help finding or identifying or installing a gasket or a seal for your particular uh, sealing problem or your project, they will do their best to help you. Now, let's talk about the stuff. Felpro sent me a box full of really neat stuff to give away. So this is what I'd like to do. If you'd like any of this stuff, I'm going to put in the description of this video my email address. Simply send me an email and in the subject, put, put Felpro in there so I know you want a Felpro product. And I'll do my best to give you what you want from that picture. The fastest things to go are going to be the hats, which are real nice, the, the beverage koozies, and the Felpro bottle opener. Felpro bottle, bottle opener keychains, these are all going to go fast. So I will do my best to give you what you want. Tell me what you'd like, what you see in that picture. And if you don't get what you wanted, I apologize, but I can only have so much to give away and I'll do my best to give you what you want. Thanks to Felpro for sending me all this cool stuff and all the information to help me out. And thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.